Hey, Ronnie. Hey, Lou. Look, I got this idea. All right. Okay? Today is Monday. Right. What if we start this new thing called Monkey Monday, where you bring your monkey, I don't know, say to dinner or something? I think it's been done. Hmm. Let's check on that right now. Hey, Ronnie. Yeah, Lou. Scratch the monkey Monday uh, idea. Yeah. Uh, a monkey named Jojo, best kind of monkey name, <laughs> ruined my idea of Monkey Mondays at a Florida restaurant Damn you, by Jojo. biting a child. Oh. This, you see, this is why we can't have nice things, Ronnie. Jojo, you. A weekly tradition at Caraba's Italian Grill in Stewart, Florida. Florida. Here we go again. I know. Hello to the people in Florida. <laughs> you people are crazy. Has sadly come to an end after a hyper monkey bit a child, Ronnie. Once a week, Mary and Richard Van Houten would partake in Monkey Mondays. See, this was going on. I, I knew I had a great idea. <laughs> uh, they were doing this at the eatery by bringing one of their five pet monkeys. Five? Dang. You know, let me pause from this story for a second and you tell really you something. Need five pet monkeys. Do you know I have been trying to get a monkey? Going back probably 15 years on the radio <laughs> with no success whatsoever. And here's the thing. I want a monkey to just do one thing. Wear a sailor suit and know how to make coffee in the morning. Is that too much to ask? I don't think it is. That's why we can't have nice things. <laughs> I, that sounds pretty These reasonable. people have five monkeys, Ronnie. I just want one. Although you have kids living at home. You can't teach them to do that. They won't wear the sailor suit. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, they brought one of their pet monkeys to dine at the restaurant's outdoor patio, something both patrons and wait staff adored. They loved this promotion, Ron. Up until... Okay. Uh, according to the Miami Herald, Monkey Mondays are no more after JoJo bit a nine-month-old. Uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> their nine-month-old monkey bit an eight-year-old on the finger. <laughs> this is on July 26th. Okay. So while JoJo was sitting in her chair at a uh, table, because uh -huh. she has her own chair and table. Of course she does. She's a monkey. A man named uh, Joseph asked if his son, Jackson, could pet the monkey. Jackson Wait a was minute. Are you, is that kind of a... Signal for something else, petting the monkey? <laughs> it could be some type of a euphemism, okay. yeah. Uh, so, yes, yeah, so if, if his son could pet the monkey, Jackson was warned to be careful because JoJo was acting especially rambunctious that evening. Had a rough day. Did not do well on the Price is Right showcase. There's nothing worse than a rambunctious capuchin. I know. So Anything could set him off. When it was time for Jackson and his father to leave, the eight-year-old went back to the monkey and grabbed her trying to play. Okay. And that's when JoJo bit the child's finger. Do not be grabbing my monkey. Yeah. <laughs> that's that right now. Yeah. I think that's you leave my stuff. monkey out of this. I have never touched your monkey. You, I've seen you stare at my monkey. <laughs> Jackson pulled his hand away and was left with a small cut, which was treated at a hospital. I'm sure they rushed this child yeah. to the emergency Code room. Code 3 in an ambulance. You bet. Yeah. The Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission was called to investigate the Van Houten's home, and workers discovered a healthy environment for JoJo and four other monkeys, Kalani, Keegan, Elvis, and KJ. Elvis. Elvis there is alive. Was, he's a monkey. <laughs> <laughs> there was proper food, water, cages, and entertainment for the exotic pets. Uh, the couple was cited for not having an updated rabies vaccine for the monkeys. Oh. As they were led to believe it wasn't a recognized vaccine for Florida monkeys. Mm. They have since updated their pet's vaccines. A little late. Doesn't do much for Jackson. No. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm sure they'll have to uh, have JoJo on a, uh, they'll be, he'll be on a wet death watch. JoJo was not available for comment. Oh. Because she's a monkey. Right. Or he, whatever. Like Capuchin monkeys, sometimes known as organ grinder monkeys, that's the kind I want, Yep, are smart and easy to train, see? Bingo. Coffee. Your coffee is all but made by, by now. And yep. it makes them almost as good as a service animal. Huh. Marcel, Ross's monkey on Friends, remember that? Yeah, I do remember uh -huh. that. Was played by a capuchin monkey named Katie. I got one of those. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, JoJo learned her lesson and can go back to enjoying fine dining again soon. 
And mm -hmm. all I can say is, what's next? Well, I, I'm, I'm hesitant to throw up the flag uh, on Wolverine Wednesdays. Uh, I think it's, I think that's viable. Uh, I don't, I don't think it's a good idea. Yeah. Wolverines, I think they're a little bit more rambunctious than, than even mon capuchin monkeys. What about uh, Honey Badger Friday? No, that's an idea, Ronnie. Yeah. That's a good idea. Because, you know, Honey Badger, you don't give a shit. No. Not at all. No. Well, we found another interesting story about food. Uh, police are, <laughs> are investigating the theft of nearly $100,000 worth of ramen noodles. First of all, that's impossible. Uh, you, you know how the, many truckloads that would have to be? The trailer is probably worth 90000 right? and the ramen is worth 10000 Yeah, so you'd need like... 480 billion trucks of ramen noodles yes. to get to a hundred thousand dollars. There's no way it's a hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> I would buy those at that stupid 24 hour when I was living in an apartment. I want to say they were like seven cents a container. Wow, that much? Yes. <laughs> yeah. What was that, like 1978? Uh, that was probably about 78, 79, yeah. mm -hmm. around there. Yeah. All right, authorities in Fayette County, Georgia are investigating a string of thefts in the area of a variety of objects, including a large amount of ramen noodles. According to WTKR, almost $100,000 <laughs> worth of ramen noodles were stolen when thieves made off with the trailer, trailer that the packages of noodles were sitting in outside of a Chevron gas station in Fayetteville, Georgia. Officials believe that the 53-foot trailer was stolen sometime between July 25 and August 1. Uh, in addition to the trailer, deputies are looking for the culprits involved in five other car break-ins and a motorcycle theft. First well, they all, need all those things to carry all those noodles, I would think. To get all away. you need to do is just stake out every college dormitory in the area because that's where they are. Yeah. They're on the black market right now. They're selling them for three cents <laughs> <laughs> instead of seven. <laughs> You Get know, your ramen here, three cents. Is there is there any health benefits whatsoever to, to ramen noodles? No. I mean, I can only imagine what the salt intake must be on those things. Well, and so what I tried to do is not use the little flavor packets, mm -hmm. but we saved. Oh, that them makes up. it better. We saved them up and we put them on different things. Oh, okay. So it adds an in interesting flavor to say. A Taco Bell burrito. Oh, okay. Yeah, the chicken flavor, if you put it in with beef, it's, yeah, I don't know. Ronnie, did you see that uh, in the news this last week, America has voted its number one Mexican restaurant, and it's Taco, Taco Bell. Bell. Thank you. <laughs> People. That's what I've been saying. The problem is, Taco Bell's not a Mexican restaurant. I don't think it is. No. It's, it's, uh, it's way Americanized. Yeah. I mean, some of the things that they offer have Mexican roots, but it's not. Well, they have a Mexican name. <laughs> yeah. That's about it. Uh, taco. Yeah. It's got taco in there. It's it's a hamburger with cheese. It's a cheeseburger <laughs> in a taco shell. <laughs> That's uh, what it is, exactly. Which yes. came first, the taco or the cheeseburger? Answer that one for me, Mr. Smarty Pants. Now, I don't know if you remember this, but way back in the day, like when we were in uh, high school, mm -hmm. Taco Bell had the Bell Burger. Oh, I do remember that. I love that. And it was just like a hamburger patty, but just completely minced up. Well, it wasn't it like a, 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 what do you call those things? Uh, a manwich. Uh, yeah, a Sloppy Joe. Sloppy Joe. It's a, mm -hmm. Yeah, it was a Sloppy Joe. It was a Mexican Sloppy Joe. That's how Joe. often I eat a Sloppy Joe. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, so I, but I did love me some uh, Bell Burger. Yeah, Mexican food. Oh, man, I tell you. Uh, if I had to pick one, and, and I think we've had this discussion before, so I'll limit what I say, but because um, it's regional, right. but I'm a big fan of the Jim Boys tacos. Oh, boy. you know, um, it's best. it's kind of commercialized, and it's indeed very greasy. Oh yeah, uh, and they put uh, Parmesan cheese on the outside of the shell. Yeah, and I mean they're delicious. They're the best thing if you have a hangover. They are. Yeah. I think that grease just seeks, yeah. so, you know, soaks up whatever it's alcohol gonna, is left in you. It's going to make you better or... It's going to make you throw up, which <laughs> is going to make you feel better anyway. Yeah, see, so, so... All right, so if I had to cast my vote for number one Mexican restaurant, I, I think I'd have to go with Jim Boy's Tacos. Unfortunately, they probably are just so regional that they can't yeah. even be included. But then again, you know, um, when you think about it, eating at Taco Bell is a lot like ramen noodles. 
you can get like 153 items for $7.90 <laughs> yes. at Taco Bell, if I'm not mistaken. You know, you bring a drink from home and you're set. You've, you're good right? to go. Yeah, the, yeah. Dollar, the dollar menu. Gotta and love it. You know what they, uh, they were missing in their menu was fries. And so now they've entered into that realm as well. Um, and they've got some dipping fries or something like that, don't they? I've seen the, you know what, I haven't, even though I love Taco Bell, I haven't been in a while. Mm -hmm. I've been really trying to watch my fast food intake, but of course we went to a little state fair last night and I completely blew it. I had a, a foot, oh, it's way over a foot long. It was probably like a 16 inch uh, Lockford sausage. Oh my God. It was amazing. And then I had a funnel cake. Ronnie, uh, geez. I had a glass of wine and then I, oh boy, it was... It was quite the night. Yeah, it was good stuff. You're, you know how much I went crazy yesterday. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. <laughs> good thing we uh, didn't do that when we were at the fair. Uh, okay, so that's going to bring us to the conclusion of this episode. We're glad that you watched on this Monday, Monkey Monday. <laughs> uh, and indeed, if you've got this far into the video, we'd love if you'd subscribe to our channel. It's really easy to do. Just hit the subscribe and hit the bell, um, and hit the thumbs up too while you're at it. And uh, you can find more about Ronnie and I below. Uh, Ronnie, what do we have uh, in the, the comment section below? You've got uh, oh, geez. sponsors. Uh, we, a few blogs. Our blogs. Email. Our email. Uh, our website. Uh, and various ways that you can get a hold of us uh, through various media platforms. And we hope that you will. Yeah. Uh, we love your comments. Yeah. Feel free to leave them below. If you've got a Monkey Monday comment... <laughs> We will respond. Oh, yeah. And if you have a monkey that you're trying to get rid of who could make coffee, potentially, <laughs> please leave me that note in the comment. Put it in a cardboard box. Poke some holes in the box, but ship it to Lou. Yeah, directly. Yeah. Uh, to Ron's house. <laughs> I'll get it. All right. We'll see. I'm Lou Gallagher. I'm Corvette Ryan. And we'll see you on the next Men Are So Smart. Bye-bye.